Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Automotive Tester Certification. As a part of this tutorial, we are completely done with all the topics discussion on the chapter 2 that is standards for the testing of ENE system. And as a part of this tutorial, we are getting into the next that is sample questions from this particular chapter. Whereas the very first thing to talk about is the sample question patterns. So as this topic or this chapter includes a lot of things and definitely requires, uh, you know, definitely to discuss more and more detailed option where we're talking about various standards like ASPIs, AutoSAR, ISO, and also a little bit on the comparison of the levels. These questions will be quite related to all these and uh, will definitely require your peer attention on that and uh, need to look forward to have a good and very good understanding to answer the examination question. So from the very first one that is A spice, you will be having seven questions. ISO, you will have seven questions again. And then you have AutoSAR. AutoSAR, you will have two questions. And comparisons, you will have two questions. So putting all uh, together, that is seven plus seven, 14, plus four is 18. So you will have 18 questions from chapter two out of 40 in your examination. So please have a good understanding of each and every segment what we have discussed in different tutorials in order to have a very good confidence to answer the examination. So let's look at some of the sample questions here. Number one, imagine you are participating in an automotive SPICE, that is a SPICE assessment in your role as integration tester and you are receiving the information that your process has been assessed as L the character or the letter L using the process attribute PA 1.1. Which one of the following option is correct? You need to select one option here. Now here you need to understand that what exactly is used as a letter representation from the uh, ASPI standard. And if you remember from the ASPI standard, we got a very good uh, clarity from there that how exactly each standard is measured. And we have various standards like not fulfilled, partially fulfilled, largely fulfilled, or fully fulfilled. So for not fulfilled, you have N, that is none. Partially fulfilled, you have partially. And largely fulfilled, it is largely. And fully fulfilled is fully. So N, P, L, F. Okay. And that's where you have L as largely fulfilled. So the right answer here is C. C stands for largely fulfilled, sorry, L stands for largely fulfilled, whereas all other does not stand for L, okay? They have no, not or none, and then we have partially and fully. So it is somewhere around 75%, okay, largely fulfilled. Let's move to the next one. <clears throat> Number two, which two volumes of ISO 26262 are the most important ones of the automotive software tester? Now, this is a tricky question where it is very straightforward because they're just asking you which of these are volume which are important. And second, they're just asking you out of all the list available, which is given to you in the ISO, that which volume is most important. And from this particular point of view, you need to be very much clear with your syllabus because these are straightforward things, okay? Very straightforward, no twist, no tricks, no justification. If you remember which are the areas of your interest as being a tester, then you can answer this question. If you have not concentrated on the uh, influence of the testers, that's how exactly testers get influenced by the ISO 26262 and various volumes, then you will not be able to answer. So let's look at the options here. The volume four, which is product development at the system level. Volume six, product development at the software level seems to be the right as per the syllabus but let's look at the other options as well that is volume three concept phase which is the planning we don't do that anything here and volume six product development at the software level yes that's one of our control constraint number c volume two uh, management of the functional safety uh, that's not our interest that is being a tester but volume six it is yes so it's just that if you see six is common in all the four options so that's sure that six is one of the important parameter. And uh, another one is what you have to find. And option D says volume five, product development at the hard level, which is developer's concern, not the tester. And C is of course there. So finally putting it all together, 
Product development at the system level is obviously a test concern as a part of the official syllabus. If you want, you can refer the tutorial respective to that, which is explicitly mentioned in 2.2.3.2. .2 and uh, we have uh, important volumes for the test as volume 4 and 6. So right answer is A. Let's move to the next question. Uh, the following table shows ISO 26262 method table regarding code coverage matrix. And uh, there's a table avail available here. Which one of the following decisions documented in the test plan is consistent with the above method table? So we are talking about comparing the plan with the table which is created. And uh, there are a lot of options provided to you. And it completely depends on your analysis on the table. If you remember your ACL methods, if uh, the symbols represent here plus as recommended and double plus as highly recommended. And on the stream left is a small hint for you. Okay, what is that hint? It is just one and it has alternatives like 1A, 1B, 1C. When it is 1, 2, 3, they are different methods. But when you have 1A, 1B, 1C, it means that one method, three alternatives. That means you have a choice to pick any one from these three where you have more relevancy okay but if it is one two three you have to pick all three based on the recommendation and you have to decide how exactly you will pick up the right one so here let's look at the options so first of all let's evaluate here if we have one abc here then we see a statement coverage is highly recommended for a and b branch coverage is highly recommended for b c d and modified condition decision coverage is highly recommended for D alone. So here the right answer would be A for ACL A branch coverage is used and statement coverage is not used. This is where we are talking about the alternatives because if you, even if you see uh, ACL A level is uh, low which is like safety critical, criticality is low here and then we have uh, the highly recommended as statement coverage but branch coverage is just recommended but still we cover branch coverage here instead of statement coverage because we know the basic principle that 100 percent branch coverage guarantees 100 percent statement coverage and don't forget why should you refer or prefer to have a recommended technique than the highly recommended because it is an alternative it says 1a 1b 1c so as per the method table we have a choice here when you have the alternatives but if it is one two three then you will decide only with the highly recommended ones so that's the right answer so you can check the other options there it will not be meeting the expectation because they have a very different outcomes well that's all from this particular tutorial team just wanted to give you a quick overview and insight of what exactly the type of sample questions you can expect from the chapter two but don't forget you have 18 questions coming from this chapter that means it is the highest contributing chapter in your 40 questions so yes it plays a vital role there so please do not uh, play around with your chapter 2 you have to know each and every corner of the segment and definitely understand all about what exactly it is from different understanding concerns so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'll be there to answer them Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.